So it's the next day, and I'm here. I've got the space prepped. Um, and it turns out I'm not going to install a carpet myself. Only because I talked to my buddy, and he has a friend who does flooring. And he has all the tools. And so he actually asked him, and he was totally cool coming up and helping me out. So they're on their way up now. And uh, he's going to install it with us, with me. We're going to install it with him, basically. Um, so, yeah, I'm not doing it myself, which I take great pride in. But um, having the carpet tools, I think, uh, makes a lot of sense. The carpet stretcher and the knee kicker and the whatever. Um, I've also got some challenging carpet things. For instance, this space here, um, I'm not quite sure how to get the carpet to go around here and around here, because where's the carpet going to come from that goes here? Maybe you can see it. So, if you have a piece of carpet that's like this, I imagine you cut it like this, but when it's folded down, it'll be like this. So where's that carpet come from? So there's some challenges like that, which I think it would be easier if I had someone here that does carpet. Uh, I got the wall boards installed somewhat, as you can see, um, on both sides. I'll be taking these off later um, and actually putting some sort of a finish on this. I'm not quite sure what yet, but... Um, I cut these holes out with, by plunge cutting my skill saw for the long sides and then just using my jigsaw to finish the rest. That uh, actually works pretty well, so if you have to cut outlets in plywood, um, that's a way to go. Or if you have a rotary tool, that'll work. Um, so what's left is to install the tack strips <coughs> around all of my, as you can see, my 3 8 piece of plywood here. Um, once we install the tack strips, um, the felt will get stapled down on the inside of those, uh, stapled about every foot, and then this pad here will go on top of it, and also stapled every foot, and it'll overlap right up to the tack strip. So, after that, we'll get the carpet up here, cut it up, install it, and away we go. So, um, yeah. I'm excited! It's also really early in the morning. I know a lot of my videos really early in the morning. You can probably hear how nasally I sound. Um, ah, so, I'm in that, like, that wake-up mode. Um, not as alert. A little slower. That's okay. Oh, my office is a mess. Don't look! It's not really an office yet. I haven't put any shelving in or anything. All I did was stick a table up here and move all my junk up here. And I never use it. Um, because it's generally pretty cold. Although it's 50 in here now. Which is pretty nice considering it's snowing outside, huh? Finally. We got a lot of snow in the beginning of the year. Um... And then it just started raining and being warm, which was obnoxious. So, oh, you like this? This was my, uh, I'm going to get some heat to the upstairs. I taped this onto the front of the Modine heater and um, pumped it up there, but that didn't really do it. Um, this floor here was the only one I did not install radiant tubing in. Um, because I was at a point in the process where winter was coming and um, my feeling was that the heat from the garage is going to rise to that space naturally and I'll probably never use that zone anyway. Um, and I just didn't have time. Uh, I needed to get the roof on instead of messing around with tubes. And normally you install radium tubes afterwards. So I was like, well, if I want to, I'll just install them afterwards. At this point... Um, it would be really nice to have a zone there set up and running so I can go click, but, oh, sounds like they're here. I'm done babbling.
I will uh, try to grab the camera whenever I can and show you what we're doing.